Kelly, we've jumped straight into it. Um, I want to take a quick backtrack. And people are thinking, who is this human that he is talking with about boundaries, self-care and time? Well, we have Kelly Arnold. Kelly, why don't you tell the people a little bit more about you? And then I want to dig into some details about how we become person A and then person B over who's on a mission to actually flip the script on this whole idea of balance where work and life come in. So who are you? Well, uh, again, I, I am Kelly Arnold, and I, um, first and foremost, live in the beautiful state of uh, Colorado. It has got Yay. beautiful season uh, and climate, and again, this natural beauty um, mm -hmm. around ourselves in you know nature. So very grateful to be here, and I'm married to my uh, husband, Jason, of 20 years. I am mom to uh, my only son, uh, Joe, who's a tween here, heading into mm -hmm. Uh, teenage years. Uh, I have a communications degree or de degree in communications and I'm also currently a uh, director for a telecom company. Mm -hmm. and, um, I've spent 20 years in risk management. That is, you know, kind of the general space of, of my career. It's come in a variety of forms, but effectively what I have done most of my career is to help others navigate very sensitive uh, and complex matters. And I'll tell you, it's not for the faint at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with people's livelihoods, right? Whether it's an individual person's livelihood or whether it's the livelihood of a given company. Mm -hmm. um, it's very stressful work uh, mm -hmm. and it is easy to burn out in, in that type of field. And that happened to me. Uh, mm -hmm years ago. And, and when that happened, um, I leaned into the non-secular system of yoga uh, mm -hmm. to help me find uh, healing. And, you know, we can talk, you know, uh, in a bit about, you know, what, you know, those kind of techniques and practices are. Um, but because I leaned into that wisdom tradition, um, I found healing and then so inspired and grateful for that, I, I wanted to teach others. And so, I certified as a meditation instructor and mm -hmm. in a specific technique called uh, primordial sound meditation. And then yeah, I primordial sound. Yeah, it's a beautiful, isn't it? It's much mm -hmm. uh, transcendental meditation. It's got that same concept where you know you're using a mantra, uh, repeating that silently, silently to yourself to help anchor you, uh, mm -hmm. in, but as well as to help you transcend thoughts and so it is a beautiful beautiful technique um, but because of that you know again my, my experience and my own practice then I did um, I was I founded uh, Meta Inc uh, with the idea of helping organizations restore health and vitality through its most important asset uh, mm -hmm. its people mm -hmm. beautiful do you find that it was, um, let me put this another way. Do you think that you would have had your calling to do what you do now had you not been through what you've been through yourself? No, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, how about you? I mean, I know you have been you know, through your uh, amount of, of struggles. You know, some of them, you know, seemed quite... Uh, quite a, you know big as mine was um mm -hmm. you know find yourself in in this space had you not been through that you know yeah, it was really funny i believe in infinite possibility Kelly. me too and um and that's a great idea but when we bring it into practice sometimes things get lost i'll give you an example i i wanted to write an email to a teacher of mine this is a couple of years ago and i wanted to say i couldn't have done this without you but I could have done it without him. And then yesterday I was on with a, uh, uh, someone who's in one of my programs. She's a, she's a friend too. To, and we were talking and she just wanted to express some gratitude. She just had a bit of a financial miracle that showed up for her. She's like, thank you so much for your work. I don't think we would have survived this COVID time without your work. And I was like, you could have done because it would have been a possibility. But I just find it fascinating. People who have been through an experience in order to come to a place where they've got something to give to the world the dark times that we go through, did it need to happen that way? 
It's a good question, Dan. <laughs> I would say almost yes. You know, I'm of, of the mind that we are presented with obstacles and challenges mm -hmm. for a certain reason. It's part of our soul's path and journey. Mm -hmm. uh, some might be as pre believe as predefined. Mm -hmm. uh, and so again, um, then I also believe in synchronicity, you know, <laughs> yeah, that, you know, again, these happen, you know, uh, again, in front of us uh, by way of meaningful coincidence, mm -hmm. and perhaps they are meant to occur uh, to take us to that next level of growth. There's a, I think it's Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon really got into like the life between lives and she did the quantum hypnosis where people were looking at more this soul level of experience, right? When people are, for example, finding themselves called to do something that does pull them out of balance. So for example, with me, I get into trouble with Elga all the time about this because I could, I could work a lot longer than mm -hmm. I do. She's like, don't you want to spend time with the family? I do, but I'm like, this doesn't feel like work to me. I'm really excited. Like, where do we draw the line on that being an excuse for, for example, being a workaholic? Uh, we do see, for example, people that go out there and are of service, but really there's an egoic line to it. Like, where do we draw the line between something that feels like a soul's calling and us just really making an excuse to do something that may even be harming us and causing us to burn out? I think it's a good question and, and <laughs> one with multiple answers. My, but my general sense is that, you know, we're, we're grounded in the presence of the moment and the, the intuition that we have behind it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, that has to do in my mind with, with you know, being in a steady state of being. And so mm -hmm. I think happened in the last couple of weeks where I got so caught up in the chatter in my mind because of the given situation and I began to overthink it and then my I lost my boundaries and mm -hmm. so I stopped you know my rituals at the beginning of the day in terms of my self-care practice of mindfulness and meditation and yoga and then the ones at the end of my day and so I, I lost that and so I would say again it, it comes in part to kind of staying grounded in your being and in your your intention of, of what you're looking to do and and taking a holistic view because again and I just got coached on this recently myself is that you know you are not as a good and effective to others if if you don't create boundaries on whether it's your work you know what you feel your soul calling is or whether it's a job uh, so again staying grounded in that way is is how I'm inspired to answer that <laughs>